The name Sesco. Pete Sesco. And this is the thrift store One Dan, where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. Welcome to the show, folks. I got my first James Bond computer game, 007 Nightfire from Electronic Arts and MGM Interactive. This was $3.99, and I paid 25% off the price. Where it was originally bought, it was $4.99 at a place called Electronics Boutique. Here's the trailer for 007 Nightfire. My loyal associates, before we cross into the void of space, it's time to unveil the final stages of Operation Nightfire. Of course, our new order will be resisted, but we have the ultimate leverage. The launch timetable has been moved up. If we hurry, we can still catch it. By the way, who are you? Shaken, not stirred. Or is it stirred, not shaken? The name's Bond. James Bond. Good evening, 007. As a double agent, you may have to answer aggression with aggression. Hang on to me, Zoe. I thought you'd never ask. Please try to return these tools in usable condition. But I shan't hold my breath. You saved my life. How will I repay you? If I live through this, I'll need a large sight and one hell of a massage. What a fool's errand, Mr. Bob. That one's a nasty bit of business, isn't it? Lock the castle down. Now. Don't get any ideas, Double Seven. Prepare for liftoff. Operation Nightfire has begun. Deploy the red team and take him down! How does it feel to be beaten, James? My apologies, you're not going to get a lot of celebrity likeness in audio. Pierce Brosnan isn't in this. Neither is Sean Connery, nor Daniel Craig, nor Timothy Dalton, nor the great, great Roger Moore. But, I think the visuals want to make up for it. You have 60 seconds to save the world. Run by the well-known international industrialist Raphael Drake, the Phoenix Corporation has been in the news lately for its efforts to decommission nuclear weapons. Recent intelligence, however, suggests that there are more sinister motives behind Drake's activities. Once again, 007, the world needs you to infiltrate, protect, vigilant, engage, and defeat. To do more in one minute than most others do in a lifetime. The disc is in there, along with two manuals. One user's manual for playing the game, and an installation manual for the computer. It is rated teen for suggestive themes and violence. It is developed by Gearbox Software. It is powered by GameSpy Security. And these are the system requirements for 007 Nightfire. So there is no excuse for this not to work on my Windows 7 operating system. These are the special gadgets. There are nine action-packed single-player missions at all with beautiful women and treacherous enemies. Two important staples of any James Bond caper. I'm not a Bond guy, but I can always appreciate the two keystone elements of a James Bond caper. Hot women and dangerous enemies. That's a marriage in heaven. Thanks for watching. And speaking of heaven, Roger Moore, I'm pretty sure he's infiltrating by the grace of God where he is right now. Thanks for watching. This is the Thrift Store One Down, where we bring Hollywood home on a budget, and where we leave your retail profits shaken, not stirred. <laughs>